Hi guys, let's have a look at how to create a real world fashion catalogue A5 based template including the cover in Affinity Publisher. Now this won't take long, it's fairly short because I'm not putting images in there but it's an Affinity Publisher desktop tutorial on a 68 page A5 size fashion catalogue. So let's have a look and see how it goes. Now the booklet. Here's a bit of information about a booklet. We need to build a cover for this booklet because it's just thick enough to support a 4mm spine. And the, bullet, the booklet is perfect bound. Now I'm referring to the booklet being perfect bound here as opposed to saddle stitching or any other method. And this is because we've got that 4mm spine. We can put a cover on it which is a slightly heavier paper than the body of the book. So there's how you tell the difference between saddle stitching and um, perfect binding. Saddle stitching refers to the method of binding where the pages are gathered together, folded and stapled along the crease from the outside to create a book. When setting up a booklet for saddle stitching, you need your page count to be a multiple of four pages. Perfect binding, on the other hand, doesn't involve folding the pages. The inner pages are gathered together and glued along the spine with the cover applied at the same time. When the adhesive dries, which only takes seconds, the pages are secured firmly in place. It all depends on the weight of paper you use, but the maximum you should really saddle stitch <coughs> excuse me, is a 60 to 64 page booklet. Anything of the page count above 64 should really be perfect bound. Saddle stitching or perfect binding is the way to professionally present your brochure, catalogue, magazine, newsletter or book. And that's what we're doing here. We're creating a perfect binding. Now, we'll start with the cover. We'll start with a simple document that's almost the equivalent of two A5 pages with a 4mm spine between them. So we're not doing A5 pages. We're doing one big page for the front and one big page for the inside. And we'll adjust the size slightly because we can trim the pages to suit our needs. So we'll start with an A5 document and modify it if you like. Let's set up a document that's 294 millimeters wide and 205 millimeters high. That's the width of the two pages plus the spine. The margins bleed colour scheme is CMYK. The page count is two. There are no facing pages and a default master. In fact, we will want two master pages before we're through. You can see the settings there as you read down the list. The layout, the pages, the colour, the margins, slightly different margins, and the bleed, three millimetres all around. You're probably familiar with most of those terms by now. Now the master page, once you've created it, you add another master page to it. So you have a master A and a master B. And you'll have two pages, page one and page two. And we're going to set about modifying those slightly right now. With your master cover created, we can now dress the pages with the necessary components. And this is basically a template, remember, so don't worry about putting in the finished fashion shots yet. It's designed around fashions, but of course, as a template, you can use it for nearly any product line. The front cover is on the right, and the back cover is on the left. Now this is based on a, this is based on a fashion catalog I picked up the other day from Sea Salt. Uh, a fashion house based in Cornwall I believe but their catalogue their seasons catalogue is very nice it's a very nice catalogue it's 68 pages including front and back cover and very well laid out so I thought we can do that so let's have a look at it the back cover detail in place this is an overall view the detail comes in a moment and this is the inside of the front and back cover. Now if you look carefully, you'll see this one picture frame goes right across the whole image, right out to the bleed lines. That's 
because it, there's a picture there giving the inside covers a textured look. Textured paper. It's not just plain white paper. That's why the picture frames there. And I'll show you in a moment why it looks like it does. Now, in more detail, this is the outside front and back master page. The outside cover, right? Front cover and back cover and the spine. And you can see the layers I've got there and I've entitled them all. You'll find these, of course, on the uh, website. You can download the whole thing and investigate it closely. Make any modifications you like, of course. That's what this is all about. Now let's have a look at the next bit. This is the outside back cover and the outside front cover. <coughs> and this is page one. And you can see, obviously, you would remove those words outside front cover and outside back cover. That's the very first layer, and it says remove this layer. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to have a booklet with that printed right across the front and the back. And you don't want that. So now let's have a look in more detail at the inside front and back master page. Not page two, but the master page. There's everything you'll need on the inside front and back. There's room for blurbs, there's room for postage, there's room for all sorts of things on there about the collection, um, fashion prices, a collage for the inside front, and associations. You might be associated with, with other fashion houses or manufacturers, and they go there. Now, in more detail, inside front and back, page two. Inside front, inside back. You'll notice they're on one side and the other. Don't forget, if, if you've got a booklet that's made up of a front and a back cover, write front cover on one sheet of one side of an A4 sheet and back cover on the other side of the A4 sheet, fold it in half and see where you find you're looking. <laughs> There's an inside and an outside. Okay, only the last page on the lower right is numbered in this set. It's page 67, one page before the back cover. And that's the only place I've got page numbering on the covers. This tells you it's actually a perfect bound booklet, except that the cover is done separately in this case. It's just thick enough to want a spine, and the paper is heavier weight than the body of the book. So now that we've completed the cover pages, inside and out, we can begin with the interior pages. This is the main body of the book. Again, it's based first on the A5 preset, only it's slightly different. The standard A5 is 148 by 210 millimetres. However, our booklet is 145 millimetres by 208. Slightly different. There's 64 pages. They're facing pages. The margins are set and the bleeds are set with the inner bleed set to zero. Of course, that's the binding. You don't want, a, you don't want a, uh, a trim line, a bleed in the binding. So you've got 12, 12 inner and outer margins and top and bottom 10 and 15. Bleed zero and then three millimetres all around the other sides. That's fairly straightforward, fairly standard if you've done a cover of any sort before. This is no different really. Now, the guides in the master, you can see I've put a couple of guides there. And you'll see these clearly when you download the file. Assuming you want to download the file, you might like to do your own. You might be very familiar with this. <coughs> oh, sorry about that, I seem to have a bit of a cough. I've begun by placing a couple of guides for the inner margins and the centre page guide. You really want that centre so you know where you are and you can measure everything else from this. On this master I've set up page numbering and a standard page section on the top of each page. Now if you don't want them on a particular page you can either put a graphic over them or you can delete them from that page by covering them up. Because they're on a master page they won't actually delete but you can cover them up. Now we can select page one and begin a new section where we can begin page numbering at page 3. This is page 1, open a new section and begin numbering at page 3. 
The outside front cover is one, inside front cover is two, first page of the body, page three. There we go, that's not too difficult. If it was a complete perfect bound book, there'd be page one, two, three, just like this. Don't be confused because we've got a separate cover. This way you can keep thinking of it as a complete perfect bound book. And of course pages 67 and 68 are the back covers inside and out. So they won't show up on here. This will number up to page 66. Now do you follow that? Easy. Easy peasy. Okay. Picture frames and text frames. So now we can begin setting out the picture frames and text frames for our booklet content. This will change, of course, for every book, each page being set out differently. Depends on your fashions, depends on... You might be doing a photography book, who knows? But with the centre line there as a guide, you can set out your pages around the margins and your bleeds easy. Now, you can see here, some images are going right out to the bleed edge. That's because they go right out there, they'll be trimmed off, so make sure it's not an important part of your design. Fairly straightforward. Now, given the actual length of this book, I'll leave the rest of the layout up to you. It is a fashion catalogue, after all, and on which this is based, or some other form of catalogue. And there's a, there's a piece of a catalogue I've been doing for photography. It's entirely up to you. So, thanks for watching. I hope you find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on the thumbnails for a like, and the bell to be reminded when new videos appear. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.